Welcome to the internet. up and now they they make their dive mid they pull osh back in with the x and then follow up with the lead seed out comes the look at it go from demon and well osh on the run he is pretty tanky but not tanky enough they'll bring him down here and first blood goes the way of liquid once again that's two games in a row some good aggression there that's good game sense oh, bottom lane looks like we might have any no never mind oh they are gonna dive oh. koikfa here he doesn't have mana for waveform and he's surrounded by the rubik will block him in there's still quite a bit of HP, he doesn't want to strength morph, maybe trying to save, but for a waveform, but he'll have to pop it now. And, well, he'll make his way out. In comes Pegasus. Can drop the cast. This is going to be a good one. Bouncing on two. While that's happening, Sao will go down top lane, but they lose the morphling for this. They might lose the Witch Doctor as well. He gets tossed up, dropped into IX Mike. His 20 on Clockwork. Pulling this game right back the way of Sna. So it, there was another kill while that was going on. The Dark Seer went down top lane. And Koikfa, lift him up, toss him back towards the tower, he'll continue waving out, Whitebeard tanks the Witch Doctor ult, he's got to run, he gets back back oh. in, they're gonna lose too! That combination gaming from Liquid works its magic. And now, can they take the tower? Mech should be available here, and let the push commence in her. But his friend does, they're gonna get an easy kill. And on the Smash run now, on the hunt. here comes the Shadow Strike, and no I don't Sonic wave. he has his ult yet. Oh, Death Ward! Actually, really good position. Can he blink away? He can. Not. What a play. Oh, that, that death one was pretty sick. Meanwhile, bottom lane, we're going to Burrow Strike Initiation on IX Mike. Again, they hate his guts. They're anti American. Dear Lord, fluff and stuff now on the run. Looks like he will probably fall, and he does. Zan King, among others. Are they going to actually oh, the die this? Oh, my God. The cast, cast bounced, bounced on him again. But this RNG is going to be a triple kill for Weaver, I think. Wow. Ben Jazz, racking it up. As LD would say, wow. And That's really good. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, you have to have more emphasis on it. <laughs> It's true. The Here we go. Shakuchi. Not going to call that initiation, but the right clicks are there. Swarm. Actually, Burrow Strike on the back end as well. Shadow Strike getting completely blocked. Oh, He's nice the Bearman. surround Ursa with the Sprout. Destroyed, but here's the Vacuum Wall. Nature's Prophet getting somewhat low, but Sneaky Nix is on the run. Soul Assumption just dealing right, so much damage. All right, guess who just damage. died? IX Mike probably yep. died on the back end, just assuming things here. <laughs> and they're not going to be able to pick up Triant, but I believe they can transition. Breaks their smoke. That Fluff actually is ruins really it. Far. That ruins it. Oh no, that ruins it. They're gonna back up. Actually, Rush is pretty late. We're gonna have a vacuum as long, along with the wall. Sonic waves can actually destroy one. Ursa right clicking to heart's content. One for one exchange at this point. There you see the death ward. It's level two, so it's not bouncing as much as you'd like. But either way, it's still very effective. Weaver's dead. This means revenge needs to get the hell out of here. Seeing the maledict come to work. Right clicks. Wow. Actually, those are those minions actually gonna kill Witch Doctor? I don't think so. Let's here we have the wave bomb, along with Sna. Just stuck in the sprout. That is just the bane of Ursa's existence. His trees, man. Oh, the cask. Cask is going to back. It's actually really fucking hit. good, but they're not following through on it. So it three, three for three. three. No clear advantage either way. Morphling used a BKB charge. Ursa died, so he doesn't get his BKB loudly at that. Okay. Almost complete. On Snaw. The Ursa the Snaw. Burrow strike. Long with the swarm. Snaw in a lot of trouble. I mean, Ursa has no escape mechanism whatsoever, but Ix Mike is there for moral support. But unfortunately, Mihawk is actually taking a lot of damage. He might actually trade his life here, but the Soul Sun is going to finish him off. So it's a one for one trade at the end. Ix Mike going to surge away. Oh, Are they fluff? actually going to reinitiate? Fluff is visible. Yeah, Necro 3 fluff. Good lord. And, and the vision. Oh my god, that death one is so sexy. I love it so much. Amazing for Not drops. Lie, but Whitebeard stuck in the jungle. Oh, nice Sonic forest. Wave 2. He might get two here. He's got Scream in a moment. Run. Ike's Mike's perpetually oh, on the run Look at the cast game. range. The Shadow Strike somehow Cast range, range. literally 2,000. <laughs> right clicks. Oh my god, Smash is actually oh, really the low. Iron Shell. And there's the Adaptive. So, Oh, he did have the Aegis. Yeah, he'll get out. So they got four for two. Oh, sh there's no way he can fight now. So, Four for two. Maybe they can do some significant damage to the tower. But again, I need to finish it off. He oh forces the BKB. God. And the Shadow Strike slow is still on there. He's actually going to get him. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe or it. Is or is he? Or He's is getting he? low. Oh. Oh. Barely getting the kill. A 1v1 battle between Quap and Morphle. Yeah. Here we have a little bit of a flank. Oh, there's no nice Burrow Strike. Fluff and stuff's dead before we can use anything. Whitebeard gonna pop his Death Ward among Look his at BKB. It. Oh, not so Doesn't really bounce too much. They're gonna get the kill on Sand King, it looks like, but that's it. Oh, Whitebeard dead lane, wrecked. Nature's Prop is just pushing to his heart's content. He's gonna get more than just tower here, I do believe. Morphling forces the BKB. Oh, he's gonna one-on-one -on -one Sna here. He's actually gonna he win this fight. 
Or maybe not, maybe not. Versus Snaw. Well, the oh Maledict's boy, this there is now. huge. All oh, the right clicks. Mihawk doing so much damage. The Mjolnir is so strong right now. Looks like he's probably going to get this Rax. Gets Sheep, though. There's another initiation, and my goodness. They're able to actually hold that, which yeah, is very surprising. That's a Roche, though. Surprising. I think Snaw's okay with this, honestly. Bottom Rack's dead. Mike, you just bought back. Oh, he bought back. Soul Assumption, along with the Queen of Pain ult. Oh, White Bear doing a lot of damage with that go. Maledict and Death Ward, but again, that's four dead for Snaw. This is going to be two racks, if not more. That's it. GG. I'm just going to go straight for the I GG. said I was sure it was going past 60. You know what? This isn't fair. <laughs> I'm <laughs> one fucking minute God, off. You are the worst. I'm seriously deep dive here. Pandago. The waveform's going to miss completely, but here comes the Ray Fire Bot, so they're going to initiate here with the arrow. But there comes the Maledict and double cast, bouncing not to the greatest effect here. Trient's the first to die. Huskar will find a kill on the Keeper of the Light. Now, way too I'm dead, too. So low way too dead. Here. Ember Spirit will fall again to the. Burning spears, thank you very much. Oh, actually, the searing chain's no. not in time. He fogged. He cast them in the fog. I guess so. Initiation here. Cast goes out. No, nice arrow. arrow. Gonna hit directly on Jiggle Billy. There's the Maledict not connecting whatsoever. And the life break it actually might be in range here. It is now. But here comes the Ray Fire on. Blast. Illuminate's not going to do any damage because it is Huskar at the end of the day. And oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful vacuum into the wall. That's one kill right off the bat. Poor Witch Doctor. Look at it die more like it. Ember Spirit. Getting a little damage with his slide of fist, but here comes the overgrowth, nicely done. But of course, Jiggle Billy, Jiggle Billy, here comes Jiggle Billy. <laughs> Is that an imitation of Jiggle Billy? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like Train actually finished off Marana, surprisingly enough. Hit targets, hit As them. The armless being toggled by Jiggle Billy, unfortunately, will die with it activated. Cakes on the run, Triant on the run, everybody for E Hug on the freaking run. Cakes is actually stuck in between an amalgamation of liquid heroes. But actually, Koika might be the one to worry. Death Ward being used to full effect. Level 3 Maledict. Along with the Maledict. Yeah, this could. This Corsi is enough. strengthening, but he's no mana oh, to speak of. No, he's going to be fine, actually. Wow. Okay, then. Never mind. Not what even level close. is that Maledict? <laughs> level 3. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's surprising. Okay. But the morph just helps so much. I think something like slowly, and of course, with that heal from Illuminate. Just Booyah! Look at it. <laughs> so good. Legit? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, you know, uh, more. So I Trian's think Morphling dead. is still better than Caudle with this amount of farm, but Caudle's close. Huskar goes down. Of course, the physical damage is so good against him. That's three dead right off the bat. Wraith King used his ult. That's literally all that's been lost in this fight. Liquid to gonna take this Rax, absolutely no problem. 1911 advantage. Watch for the GGs shortly, I would assume. Ember Spirit and Elder Titan will join the club of death. And Koika gets an ultra kill. And that's GG. Lying on so far as damage. Um, the Epicenter negated in large part by that. Now Angel way out of swords and being chased by bricks and we may have a big engagement they're thinking about it there's going to be the demonic purge on a relic they're sitting around the outside goody trying to bide his time blink daggers off cooldown now and here we go there's going to be a coil and he's going to try to move in and yes the eclipse doing good damage vacuums there as well it's in, going to end up being ban earth that comes out on the bad side of all this goody didn't even use epicenter there Thought he was going to just wait and charge, and if he had, maybe this is a different fight. For now, he gets to sit there and do some damage. Puck's got to be careful. There's going to be an arrow. Doesn't catch anyone. Goody manages to secure a kill, and that makes it a double kill for him, but a hat trick, a triple kill for Ewo as the rich get richer, and they walk away. Winners in that fight. You know, BKPs would save them. Here we go. Sand King going in and going to catch a couple doing good damage, but isn't enough. Mech's there. Vacuum brings them back. If they could turn this around, Mech's there to help out as well, using the Eclipse to try to cover a retreat. Jericho... And Ewo make it away with maybe half a health bar between them. Now they're going to try to turn it around. Angel's back there. And they got to decide, are they staying or are they leaving? Looks like they want to just abandon Angel, who will use Stampede, not just to help himself, but to help everyone else as they pull back. Arrow on the mark. Caught half fried egg roll. And getting some help from the Abaddon doesn't matter. He's going to end up dead. There's a Brow Strike, but what a disruption. That's going to save Angel in and of itself. Ends up sacrificing himself to keep Angel alive while Ewo secures a double kill. And they finish off Goody Angel with 20 HP. Going to be able to teleport for a target. TP's coming in. Ewo is there with his illusions. Looks like they're able to chase him off of the tower, at least for the moment. They have all their ulties available. There we go. It's going to be an epicenter, but only caught one. They do manage to bring Puck down, but that prompt the BKB, and now here comes the pain. Borrow time keeps Nave up, but Relic's in trouble. Relic cannot stand up to the right click. Is just being picked apart, and Ewo just going to continue to chase him down. We'll finish him with a Lucent Beam. Yep, there it is. And he actually eats a lot of damage from behind by Bricks, but still just not enough. Goody comes back out, lands a Burrow Strike. Stampede, oh no, excuse me, stomp there to catch three after the defensive disruption kept Ewo alive. Wall helping to secure him. Can they track him down? There's the Aegis. But Aegis is a small part of that battle. He's back up now, full health, full mana, ready to rock.
And they should be able to go ahead and take the racks off of this. They're just not going to have a whole lot of follow-up damage. Weaver, even though he is... Got the Illuminates going on bottom lane. Uh, nice defensive disruption, dodging the arrow. Beautiful play. Still the two hero Illuminate connects. Tavo dropping low, but gets off the cold snap. TC, uh, poison stacking up a bit. Ah, oh, he might be okay with these phase boots. He'll salve. Oh, the poison's gonna oh, take going it off. Back in for the oh, he's blocked! That illuminate doing work! First blood goes to Demon Way 2, trapped in the trees by the creeps, and will end up going down. TC's on the chase, he's got Make phase a boots. Kill here. He can dive this one more illuminate. Could get two kills, they'll get the Shadow Demon, and Nedbone's in trouble now. Doesn't have a Leech Seed, Living Armor cooling down, he needs a few seconds, but the dive has commenced. In comes the rotation from KNRD, he's level 6. He could turn this one, kill off TC, maybe kill off De Demon as well. No, now Demon's got to retreat. Actually, there's no mod on King RD. No he has tanking tower shots, but should be okay. Coddle's Triple kill on fast. the Coddle. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll see the fast egg scepter now, Fear. <laughs> we may. It's like useless. Yeah, he won't get the additional heal for this push, but I don't know if they particularly need it either. Quake has now got a Dominator to go with the Wraith King R. There will be a nice Impale to start this off, but Baga takes a huge Illuminate, then the Vac comes through. They pop a defensive overgrowth, just get the hell out. Then the Naga walks in, the Requiem's unwound, and the Song lo well, largely wasted here. They bought back our Shadow Demon. They got no follow-up with the Song, that's it. We've seen a lot of that today. It's like, yeah. you pick Naga, you pick Tree, and there's just very little follow-up. Oh, follow. the Race King's slow, gonna get Naga killed, probably. Oh, uh, boy. She's got nothing to do here but die. Buys back instantaneously, but to what end? Liquid's still at half HP. Maybe diving a bit too far, though. They may lose way too if they're not careful. He'll be forced to retreat out. Here comes the Coddle Illuminates, if he's got the mana for it. Nah, uh, looks like he won't get it. Oh, no, here we go. He's gonna heal up his whole team with this one. Look at their HP bars just go right up. They're all back at full HP. The, sh the Shadow, Shadow Demon just basically saved immortal. Him. Yeah, Shadow Demon just saved the race team there with the disruption. <laughs> Jeez. But they're just, they're getting run yeah, over. They can't do anything. Like, teams are overrating Naga. I feel like they're just like, they just think, oh, let's just put Naga mid, it's a free win. Well, they've used it just for Masuku, but hey, Lich kills secure, track will come out onto Korok. And now Benjaz joins the fight, he pops the Eclipse, but the pandas are here. And they just really don't care. They'll cyclone up the Sand King. The Queen of Pain all comes through, but Smash next on the list. Drum jumps oh, in, tries down. to retreat out, and just gets blown up. Oh, buy back instantly. They really want to get some track kills. Now the TP comes in mid. It's a very long duration TP in NAR. They forced out the buyback. They've gotten mo three kills already. Looking for more as Misko runs down the river. They will drive for this. Smash getting caught. That's a two hero clap. That's a two hero stomp. Oh. It's too much follow up. They're getting cleaned up. It's a classic Smash over extension. And that's a and the deny on the Piranha! Salt in the wound! You can almost just GG out after that fight, I feel. That was, uh... That deny, actually, the Lich was there. Maybe we can argue a case for it, that's all I can say. And Snaking's just man-moding. Well, Clap comes out, that'll connect to Masuku, he gets four staffed away, but the real focus is on the racks here. Well, maybe it's on Benjaz, he will Manta. Retreats out, still has a BKB available. Oh, man! How many stacks of Shadow Poison was that on a the A few, lineup? and he had Soul Catcher on him, and a Dragonite attack this midair. Uh, he come, Korra comes right back in, trying to draw some fire. They will work on the range tracks, and epicenter by Misko. They four-step him in. It's actually quite a good one in the end. It looked awful, but the four-step bails out. Is it enough, though? No, nah, it doesn't look like it. Panel gets deployed. Benjaz has a BKB, but he's taking too much damage from Korok. The dragon stands strong, looking now for the bounty hunter. Can Boulder toss this? Can look to bring down Mihawk. Queen of Pain all thrown out again from Smash. He gets a triple kill. Four heroes dead. They actually haven't lost the melee racks yet. He gets clapped. That's four dead for revenge as well. And now it's Brax, a one-man wrecking crew, bringing down the melee racks. This will be the first lane. Center coming in. The quad bolt will throw it in once again. Smash has been caught. Where's that epicenter? Misko tries to go in, but Canceled. Snake King's there to cancel it and keep him away. Oh, he's still he still has it, but it's there's his whole team's dead. He's coming in and he four staffs in. It's quite a good epicenter for Misko, but it, it might be too late. Mihawk trying to return to the fight. He's bought back. He might die again. That's a dieback for Mihawk. They've lost their Luna as well. They're gonna lose the Lich. It's an ultra kill for Brax and NAR rolling through revenge now with four heroes dead. The Dragon Tail comes out mid. It's blink animation on Smash. Oh, Chaos, sir. And, and a rampage. And